In this episode of the G-Shock Watcher, we are going to be talking about the limited edition Hong Kong Fire Services Department Rangeman, a watch I've been hunting for for a long time and I've got it right here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the G-Shock Watcher, and I am really excited about this episode. In fact, it's been a while since I've actually recorded an episode. I've still been on the road. It's been really busy of late. Um, lots of events having to go to. I've just recently come back from a trip in Japan where I also made another G-Shock purchase, but I'm going to save that one for another video because I'm kind of excited about that. was also kind of concerned about how much trouble I'd get in for buying this particular watch because it was a little more on the higher side. But what I do want to spend some time talking about is this particular one, which is the G-Shock Rangeman Hong Kong Fire Services Department Edition. Unfortunately, with the light, it's a bit of reflection, but we're going to have a look at the top-down view on the desktop. Now, finding this watch is challenging because it is a limited edition watch that was specifically built for the Hong Kong Fire Services Department uh, for their 150th anniversary, and uh, that is marked here on the actual watch. Uh, but considering this is actually in Hong Kong, obviously getting it in Singapore is a little bit more difficult. Now, one of the subscribers on our channel told me about this particular watch. He said there was available on a local uh, website, which was Carousel, kind of a uh, online shopping portal, and typically resells products. Somebody had this G-Shock Range Man, the Hong Kong Fire Services Department, on that particular watch. And I went to buy it. I put in an offer, and the person told me they had just sold it half an hour previously. And my offer was actually higher than the other person who actually bought it, so they were lamenting the fact that uh, they didn't take my offer. Say la vie, as they say. But uh, I did ask that particular person, where did they manage to procure this particular watch because it was something that I wanted to get a hold of. And this person said, well, check out the secondhand market in Hong Kong and particularly pointed out the carousel in Hong Kong, which was the Hong Kong version of where I saw his watch for sale. So I went up to the website, had a look, and lo and behold, there were actually two watches for sale, both Hong Kong Fire Services Department watches. So I went to log in, and as soon as I logged in, it took me back to the Singapore website because I was based in Singapore, and maybe I could have used a VPN, but the transaction of this watch was going to require somebody to be in Hong Kong to do it for me. So lucky enough, I had a friend of mine locally here who had a friend who was coming over to Singapore from Hong Kong, and I asked her if she could go ahead and broker the transaction for me. So I sent her the link. She logged on to Carousel. And uh, she met up with the uh, the person, kind of felt bad. I sent somebody to meet up with someone we don't even know. But everything seemed to go really well. Um, she checked out the watch. There were a couple of things I asked her to look for, and I'll show you those in the, uh, in the video. Uh, but she managed to get the watch for even cheaper than what I was asking for in the initial sale and got it over here to Singapore. So I'm really, really happy. It's one of those very limited range mans. Um, I have to have a check to see how many... You act, they were actually made, but I have it now, and I want to take some time to show you this watch because I think it's a great watch. It's a great watch to tell a story about. I showed many people in Japan. I mean, obviously, range well, G-Shocks come from Japan, and people were curious about it. They hadn't actually seen too many of them, so I showed them the watch. I showed them the back plate, and many of them were very excited about it. So I wanted to take you through that and show you what it's like. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, here is the watch we are talking about. It is the G-Shock Rangeman Hong Kong Fire Services Department Edition. Um, now, before I go into this particular watch, let's start off with, I guess, a retrospective in unboxing. This is the actual box it came in. Um, let me see if I can try and make the camera go back a little bit. Um, but this is the box. It's the Fire Services... I'm assuming that should be Cantonese. My Mandarin in Cantonese is absolutely terrible. Um, G-Shock there on the back and on the top, 
the 1949 uh, edition. So I don't know what the 1949 is. We said it's a 150-year anniversary, but if you added 100 years, that would be 2049, and added 50, it would be 2099. So I'm not sure what that actually means. I have to find it out. But let's open this up. And what we have inside, uh, apart from lots of tags, of course, so tags, uh, warranty information, all those different things. Um, we also have a multi-M card. I guess this is for the local, uh, the local warranty in Hong Kong. But this is cool. This is the actual uh, card which indicates what number it is. So firefighting and rescue, and this is limited quality, 686. We'll find out how many were actually there, but that's a card which indicates the number of the actual watch. And then, of course, massive, massive manual in many different languages. So that's interesting. And then inside the case, it actually comes in because even in the box, there is another box, Oops, which is the metal box. And it comes in as cool fire services box here. And inside there then is basically the plastic and protection. So that was inside the box. And of course, in comes in our watch itself. So really striking color. It's kind of like a uh, fire rescue red. Not super bright red, but a red all the, so all the same. You've got some of the... Uh, branding on there so fire rescue I guess some of the the stripings what do you call it sort of like the the livery of the actual watch itself you see the yellow on the red so it's kind of striking to get that red and yellow in there with the white so it really starts to give you the colors striping on the top there tough solar on the clasp as you can see there 150th so let's find out what that's actually for and on the back and this is where I really love it is, if we can get the angle right, is the Hong Kong Fire Services uh, logo. So here we go, low at an angle. Bit hard to see with the light. Let me try without the light and see if that gives us a better view. A bit harder to see as well there, but you can actually see compared to other uh, range mans. So let's just turn the light back on. Oops. There we go. Maybe if we change the mode of the light. It's a little better. Anyway, this is this is the Hong Kong Fire Services logo. I'll put a picture up there so you can actually see it. But this is the Hong Kong Fire Services logo. Now I'm actually wearing another range man. And you can sort of see they both look the same. They kind of have Tough Solar. Tough Solar is written a little bit differently. This one was a black and yellow, which is available in Japan as well. Carbon fiber. Here it says Fire Rescue. But in terms of what's on the back, if I just take this one off, for this particular watch, you've got the Rangeman Cat on there. But the difference here is this one has the Hong Kong Fire Services logo on the back, which is kind of nice. And in the back of the, the wristband is almost a translucent color. So you can actually see through to the back of that one. So, you know, from a design point of view, they all look the same, but it's the style and the trend of it. Um, so it, for all intensive purposes, it is a normal arrangement, has all the same features and capabilities that these particular watches actually have. So um, if I go through and change to world time, right, so you can see both the world times are set to, oh, this one's set to Delhi, this one's set to Tokyo. So the ability to interchange between them, um, you won't get any additional features, but the looks are obviously a little bit different. There's also one particular look here and it's hard to see, so we will turn off the light for this because I think this will work in the dark time. Um, if I go through here and turn this off, and you can kind of see it. We'll try and make it as dark as possible here. 
you can see when I hit the light, it superimposed their Hong Kong Fire Services Department on top of the time. Now, it's kind of cool to have it, but what I would argue is it's not the most functional thing because if you were in the dark and you needed to be able to go and see the, uh, the time, you're not going to be able to see the time because of that thing over the top. But I guess this is what makes it legitimate is the ability to see Hong Kong Fire Services Department when that light actually comes off. Um, so let's turn this light back on. So that gives us the uh, the visibility that this is one of those those watches. Like I sort of said, six eighty six. So that's the Hong Kong Fire Services Department watch uh, in all of its glory. Beautiful watch, feels the same sort of comfort as the normal range man. A bit grubby that one. Let's try and do the t-shirt buff. Yeah, same features, same capability, same look. Although the black on yellow, the the circle. Obviously a little bit different. I don't know what it's like in terms of other ones, but I do love the fact that it's a positive display on a watch, uh, not a negative one. But both feel great when you wear it. Really solid watches, comfortable to uh, to go wear. And like I said, people love seeing it in uh, in Japan. So that's the watch, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, the G Shock Rangeman Fire Services Department watch. I did do. Uh, a little bit of research on this particular watch um, and just to sort of show you some of the capabilities the watch itself is pretty much a standard uh, G-Shock range man it has all the capabilities so you know mud resistance water resistance altimeter barometer compass and thermometer it's got sunrise and sunset uh, multi-band six tough solar all the things that that you would actually require and if you compare this against Another range man, it's pretty much exactly the same in terms of uh, of capabilities. Pricing 519. I don't think we'll get a pricing. Yeah, you, know, you can't see the pricing here. And, and this this backs up the fact that you can't actually purchase this particular watch normally through retail. You have to get it through uh, I guess secondhand sources. And I was trying to do some research in terms of the number of pieces and the uh, the value. And so uh, I did happen to find one here in Singapore that's for sale. And in the description, it actually says they were only issued uh, to Hong Kong Fire Services Department, right? So super rare piece, only available by to the staff under a drawer. 2,000 pieces were made. So 2,000 of these watches, and I've got number 686 based on the uh, on the card. And as people sort of indicate, it is a super rare piece to get a hold of. And what's interesting, when I look at the price here that this watch is going for, I paid about $650 Sing. This one is now selling for $1,100. Now, quite often, I always have a bit of a laugh with people when they sort of say, oh, I'm buying a watch and it will appreciate in value. Uh, I've never really bought a watch which I've sort of considered that it would appreciate in value. In fact, not too many people would say a G-Shock would appreciate in value. I'm sure there are uh, some of the more higher-end ones like that Bruce Lee uh, watch. There's a Royal Navy Frogman. Um, there's some really nice watches at the high end, but they can get very expensive. The entry price is like $10,000. Uh, this particular watch got it for six fifty, dollars and now it's selling for $1,100. And they're sort of saying it's one of the range, uh, one of the rarest range man. So I'm very excited and honored to have friends who helped me acquire this particular watch. It's very, very cool. Um, so there you have it. The range man GW9400, uh, limited edition number 686 of 2,000 pieces. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. Please like and subscribe if you want to be a part of the uh, the channel. I really appreciate you being here. We're up to 450 subscribers now on the channel and uh, really appreciate everybody's comments and insights. Um, I love talking about G-Shocks and uh, showcasing what it's like with them, sharing the stories with other people. You know, it's absolutely incredible. So please be a part of the community, like, subscribe, share it with other people. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me today.